Hi, I'm showing you how I steam calcimine off a wall. So I've got this $30 steamer from Aldi and basically I'm going to work in small sections so that the wall remains wet from the steam and it scrapes off very easily. I found this much easier than scrubbing. Um, I still will have to lightly scrub afterwards because um, there's still some residue as you can see up here. But after I do that, it's uh, going to be basically those lovely clean plaster walls with no dusty residue at all. Here we go. Okay, that looks big enough to me and I'll start scraping. So calcimine paint was popular in the 1930s and 1920s. This house is 1927. Uh, because it was very affordable. Ready mix paints at the time were extremely expensive and with calcimine you could just buy the powder over the counter and um, easily mix it yourself at home and then um, do your own decorating. So um, it's interesting to see the original colours used back then. As I'm scraping off the yellow, I can see that they did have a pale blue in this room originally. There we go. You can see it's just, I'm not putting in much effort at all. And it just is flying off the walls. So down here, to show you by contrast, this is where it hasn't been steamed. You can see the, the original um, cream colour. So if I try and scrape it, that's... It's just not coming off. So what I would have to do is scrub it and really scrubbing through that original layer is, is just too hard. So um, steaming certainly works to get the bulk of the calcimine off. And what I'll do next after I finish scraping all of this part will be to lightly scrub it and then um, rinse it with a dry, damp sponge. And uh, that's how I get back to the original pasta and a very um, clean and smooth finish to then apply whatever paint system I work out is going to go on top of it. Uh, what I do want to do is to apply a breathable paint system, so I'm looking into lime wash paints. Unfortunately, from what I can tell, Porter's Paints has now been bought out by Dulux. Um, I think a Japanese-owned company now. So Dulux have changed the formula of the original lime Porter's Lime Paint. So I believe it now has acrylic in it. Um, I've got to work out, uh, is that going to, how breathable is that? Um, I might look into bow work, which do have um, pure lime-based paints. I think they also have clay paints. I need to compare the pluses and minuses, and I will also report that on my blog. So this is the first step to my breathable wall system.